Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're back with an episode of Mercer County and we've got something just a little bit different today. Uh, if you're a regular on the channel and you've been watching the series, you know that we've been struggling with our sprayer for uh, a couple of seasons now. And so thankfully a new mod has just come out. This is an edit to the Navigator uh, 6000 by MRM Farms and Logistics. And they've done a couple of things to this. The first thing that I'm gonna highlight is this is no longer an articulated tongue, so I can drive my pull behind sprayer without uh, having all of the frustration that was coming from having that be an articulating uh, uh, drawbar. And then they've added uh, tracks to the sprayer. And so I'm really excited to give this a try today. And you'll notice that we do have an 8RT up here, a tracked 8RT, which is all set up to do some spraying. And so we were uh, so frustrated. I took the old sprayer up to the dealer. We were gonna trade it in for something. And so we've got this demo unit here to try out today. And then also, as you know, uh, if you're a regular, I have demoed this spray trailer from Perma's Modding in a uh, video here recently and this has some new unique spray mechanics if we come up here you'll see i've got a global company window that's popped up we've put some water into this trailer but we're going to be able to mix some roundup in here to create in-game herbicide and so these uh new spray mechanics are something that i really want to put to the test uh outside of just the brief video i did on it and so today we're going to be uh playing with that whole setup and uh, doing all of our uh, herbicide spraying. So let's pop open the map here real quick. And as you can see here, all of our fields, 25, 32, 24, 20, or, and 18 are all in need of uh, herbicide right now. We are planting up here in field 20, but I think our worker ran out of seed. So we're gonna have to get that going here as well. So I think before we jump into the spring, we're gonna get our uh, seed tender out here into the uh, edge of this field over here so that we can keep that planter moving. We've got a worker on the clock and we wanna make sure he can uh, keep moving here on this field. We've got just a handful of passes left to uh, cover here for our uh, spring planting i believe this is the last field of soybeans that we're going to be planting and so we'll just run out here we'll grab this uh planter get him all filled up and send him back on his way not the most realistic animation but it works and we're all filled up here there we go our workers all good to go should make short work of this field i'm positive they're gonna finish this up before we get a round to uh wrapping up our own spraying here since we've got most of the uh, fields here to spray i'm gonna leave this seed tender out here just on the off chance that we need it i really can't imagine we're gonna need it though with uh how little we've got left to go on that field so the first field that i want to get sprayed here is going to be this uh wheat field here now realistically we probably leave some uh wheel tracks in a field that's uh at this stage of growth especially wheat that's been drilled in unfortunately with the way farm sim mechanics work i don't think we're actually um, going to see any crop destruction here uh, because we do have uh care tires here for our tracks um, which is awesome i love that uh these narrower tracks are going to count uh, as narrows this sprayer is, as always, a little bit uh, wider than I expect. And so I think what we're going to do here is uh, take this headland pass off first, give us somewhere to turn around, and then we're going to just uh, spin up along the long side of this field here and keep going. This is going to make really short work of this field. And to be honest, if this works out, I'd be really tempted to continue to uh, keep this sprayer on the farm. I don't know about this tractor. That would be quite the investment to upgrade our equipment. Although we could replace the 8530 uh, with this larger tractor and maybe uh, switch it out and use it for the planter too with these uh, narrower track style. Um, I think this would make both a good spraying and a good planting tractor. However, that uh, 7000 series over there, or maybe it's a 7030 series, 
is working really well as a planter tractor and to be honest in the spring uh, we'd probably be hard pressed to do both planting and spraying in a reasonable amount of time if we were using the same machine for both and so I think we probably want separate setups for spraying and planting the 8530 always felt like a little bit much though for uh, spraying although I guess this is technically a bigger tractor we're gonna try to avoid running into uh, any of the buildings or anything that we have here although I will say this sprayer is uh, handling a lot better I'm definitely enjoying having a fixed uh, tongue on this trailer it's much more reasonable for me we are making really short work of this field too uh, this sprayer is uh, super wide which is nice you know one of the things we could do with a setup like this is maybe get into a little bit of uh, custom spraying if we turn our HUD back on here we are going through the herbicide pretty quick I'm kind of curious if this uh, sprayer is set up with sprayer section control I'm not sure I've even got sprayer section control on this save so I would have to check that out either way I think this is a great edit I do really enjoy having the tracks on the sprayer it looks kind of cool a little bit more modern of a, a setup here that you might see in uh, some of the other YouTube farmers using somebody like uh, Larson Farms I believe has a track pull behind sprayer so this is a really sweet looking setup um, I think we've probably waited just a little long to spray the wheat, although technically we're still in a growth stage, not a harvest stage. We probably have wanted to spray it a bit earlier, though. It is nearly impossible to see the weeds and or where we've sprayed here. Thankfully, with uh, the modern spraying setups, we have things like GPS available to us to keep us going where we need to go. And you can just see our tire tracks here through some of the wheat. Kind of uh, interesting. If you look in the distance beyond, beyond the draw distance, you can see the tire tracks from driving on the dirt there. And so with this field out of the way, we're going to uh, hit spray in some of our other fields here, which will be a little bit better of a test here. We'll be able to actually see uh, what's going on with this sprayer. We're gonna avoid running into these trees here, hopefully though. And so just going through this field though, we already used up a good chunk of our spray. We weren't full here. We had a little bit of uh, chemical left over that we were setting up just for this wheat. And so now we're gonna jump into using this new trailer by Permas Modding. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, park this thing back here first because we do have to get the chemical loaded up so if I stand up here and open up the global company menu you can see I've filled a bunch of water into uh, this trailer already and the way that that works if we pop open into the store here is at present just due to the mechanics of global company and how this trailer works you do need to fill the water with these water tanks this is a thousand liters per tank i put 21 of these in here already to give us a fair amount of water that should last for quite some time um, one of the things i've been talking to permas about is this uh, if there's another way to fill water into this would be nice um, even if we could add a uh, like a global company buy product option in that GC screen a lot like when you buy propane uh, for the dryer would be nice uh, and something that's at a fairly cheap level I don't think that most people would feel like it was too breaking you out of uh, the role play elements of the game uh, if you could just buy water in here for super super cheap even if it was like a dollar per thousand liters since most people are just going to be putting a hose in this in real life and filling the water up from their well but the other mechanic that we want to actually look at today is there's two different types of chemical you can use with this trailer in our case we're going to be using the roundup tank and so if we come in here this is our herbicide option and so for fifteen hundred dollars we get a thousand liters of roundup and that comes in one of these handy ibc style tanks and all we're gonna do is push this tank up against the side of the trailer here and you can see that it automatically fills if we come back in here it's got room to hold one full pallet of product and uh, that product now is going to get mixed with the water and turned into the usable herbicide that you would actually spray and so I can hit the uh, start button on this 
And as the uh, global company ticks over on the next minute of uh, game time, we're gonna see all of this move over into the uh, mixed tank side of things. And so your mix rate is 200,000 liters per hour. And so every minute of game time, we're moving over about you know 3,333 liters, which is fast enough for anything that we need to do. And so I've already got more than enough herbicide to top off our uh, sprayer here, I suspect. And so I'm gonna just pull up here alongside this uh, tank with the sprayer. And we're gonna start loading herbicide into uh, our trailer here. And so you can see the trailer's got 880 gallons of herbicide already. We're gonna just start pulling this over into our uh, hardy navigator here. And uh, this thing's got a much bigger tank on it than I anticipated. However, we are gonna be able to top that off at the 1600 gallons. And so with a full sprayer here, uh, we're gonna go into the back of our farm here and we're gonna spray the herbicide on uh, this weird square, squarish field. I don't know what to call it, this corner bit that we have back here, uh, which is kind of hard to navigate around back behind all of the uh, um, bins and everything with all the trees on the outsides. And so we've gotta be pretty careful not to run into uh, any of the trees or the buildings we have surrounding this setup. And uh, with a sprayer this large, you know, to be honest, the sprayer is way overkill for the size of farm that we're running. And uh, that's where we're in so much debt right now. I'm actually considering taking on some custom spray jobs here just to help us out a little bit. And uh, maybe that might justify uh, by upgrading into a... Uh, nicer sprayer setup like this it's something that i'm continuing to think about here as we move through this episode if you guys would like to see me do a little bit more contract work around on this map so that we can check out different fields uh, let me know i think that uh, this would be a fun way to tackle that and so that's something that i've been wanting to do is uh break out of uh, the little corner of the map that we've been farming and check out some of the other areas here before we you know, get to a wrap up point on this series. We're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, so I think we'll be continuing on this for a little bit still, but I'd love to get a chance to check out other parts of the map. So let me know if you think that we should uh, start picking up some spraying contracts while we're still in the spring and summer here. I think there's quite a few of them available. Now, since we will have to do quite a bit of spraying here, I'm uh, definitely not complaining about the width of the sprayer. I think that uh, this is a pretty fun setup. We are getting uh, uh, one whole round on this field and we're gonna be done. And so we're not gonna be spraying for long. We should be able to finish up all of the spraying that we need to do here in a single day. Now this field across from us, we actually were trying out the herbicide option on the planter. And so this field's already been sprayed with uh, I guess you'd say a pre-emerge uh, herbicide here on the soybean ground. And uh, just looking at our map here, we still have some planting to do down in field 22. We need to put some soybeans into that field here. And so it looks like our planting uh, worker just got done here on uh, the field behind us. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sprayer pulled back up into the yard here out of the way. And I think it's time to move our planting setup down to uh, that new field we've got so that we can keep our hired help uh, working and productive here. It looks like he missed just the smallest bit here on the uh, end of the field. Now I'm noticing that one of our two spray tanks is empty, but I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, it might be the ones on the planter, or it might be the one in the front, I don't know. Uh, we did want to remove these tanks from the wings. We had a lot of good discussion in the comments of uh, earlier videos that having the spray tanks out on the wings like that would probably be a bit too much weight for uh, this planter, especially when you're going down the road and having it folded up. And so I would uh, like to get it switched over so that we've just got it um, set up for fertilizer, but we're not actually uh, using tanks on the planter itself. Now, I forgot to open up the planter boxes, so we're trying to top off the seed here. 
uh, before we move on. Uh, just going to be a little bit easier. I'm not too worried about uh, the herbicide level here. I think we're going to have more than enough herbicide to uh, keep going with planting these soybeans. And so we're going to get this all folded up and road this on over to the other farm. It looks like we're not the only farm with some wheat in the fields in the area. This farm across the road looks like we've got some wheat growing there as well and a couple of these other fields. So I'm not sure how uh, common the different crops are here. I think this might actually be um, not wheat but uh, what's it called? Triticale, something like that. I never remember how to pronounce it. We never uh, we never grew it in the area we were at, or at least not on the farms that I've worked on. Uh, but it seems to be everywhere in this part of the map. And so I don't know if that's just a uh, poor randomization by farm sim, but uh, it's interesting to see so much of it here everywhere. Now, this will be the first time that we've planted in this field over here. It is a little bit of an interestingly shaped field. But we're really hoping that we can get a good course play course going on this and uh, let this planter worker kind of take off and do this on his own. And so we are going to do, I think, two headland passes just to hopefully ensure that we can uh, make things work out. Uh, I'm going to change the headland corners. I think turn is the one that's been working a little bit better for us. Uh, it looks like our working width is being calculated appropriately, so we're going to go ahead and generate a course. It looks about right. That's the course I would expect us to be taking. And so we're going to go ahead and just get this guy going and trust that he's going to be able to figure this out and get our flashers all turned off here. And away we go. Looking good. Looks like the spray's going down, the soil's a darker color, and we're seeing the herbicide gallons uh, tick down here. And we're good to go. All right, so we're going to hop out here, let this guy do his thing. We'll check back in on him in a little bit, but I'm feeling pretty confident that that's going to work out for us. Let's jump back up into this sprayer here. And as long as we're here, I'm going to see if we can top it off. I think we've got to be pretty close to this trailer to catch the trigger. There we go. And we've got 1,600 gallons in the tractor. If we actually hop right back out here and take a quick look, we've got quite a bit of uh, herbicide mixed up here for us to do. We did run out of water uh, faster than we ran out of the Roundup, so we're definitely going to need uh, some more water to keep that stuff moving. But for the moment, I think we're going to have plenty of spray available to us to uh, hit the rest of our farms today. And then if this is something we're going to keep doing, maybe we'll do a, uh, a series of contracts in the next episode just to help our bank account out a little bit. And so we have... Uh, been trying to stay fairly uh, realistic at least from a banking perspective in this series and so we're technically demoing this unit right now uh, but with the way farm sim works I didn't want to hit the lease costs and so we're, we went out and took the loan out to buy this so we can either uh, continue to keep this piece of equipment or sell it back to the game after we're done with it here and uh, accept that loss as uh, our leasing cost. So I think it's easiest for us to just uh, nab this headland here since we were currently turned into the field here. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and run up and down this field once and we're gonna be all done with this field as well. And so like I've said previously, this uh, sprayer is pretty oversized for our actual farm. Uh, I don't know that we would ever need something quite this big. We could get by with something half as wide as this and uh, still be very effective. And thankfully, we don't have much of a ditch here, so we've got a little bit of an easier time to turn around and get kind of uh, reoriented on the field. 
It looks like we are gonna need more than just a single round though. I was hoping we could get all the way over to the driveway here, but it doesn't look like we're quite gonna make it. And uh, this is where that sprayer section control mod would come in really handy for us. Uh, unfortunately, we're not set up for that today. So we jumped out of the game here real quick just to check and uh, it looks like this sprayer does not have sprayer section control built into it. So that's unfortunate. Um, it would have been nice addition to uh, all the other nice things with this sprayer. And so that's something that we might edit in if we decide to keep this. So I'm uh, thinking about stuff as always. However, this is going to wrap up this field, and so let's get this thing uh, folded up. I don't think we're going to head back up to the yard to top us off. We've got just one more field to spray down here, I think, if we look at field 18. Uh, and it's a fairly small field, so we should have plenty of spray to go knock that out here in today's episode. So let's get ourselves down to field 18, get our flashers going here. We're gonna borrow this guy's driveway here, kind of pull into our field real quick. And I think we're gonna head down this way and uh, skirt the creek to get started here. I can see our uh, planter there over in field 22, knocking out the second pass on the headlands. So he's gonna be uh, doing the up and down rows here shortly. We should probably wrap up around the same time by the time I get all my equipment back up to the farm here. And uh, yeah, we're cruising on this field here. Let's see if we can manage to turn without putting our boom all the way out into the irrigation ditch. Wouldn't want to be spraying our herbicide straight into the uh, waterway there. I'm kind of curious here to uh, take a look as we get to the end row here on how many spraying contracts there are on this map. I know a lot of maps, uh, you don't see as many contracts as you'd like. So let's take just a quick look here. Uh, we've got a ton of fertilizer contracts out right now. Not so much uh, herbicide, but we could definitely switch this over to be uh, fertilizer here and go knock out a whole bunch of contracts it looks like so that is currently what I've got in the back of my mind to uh, maybe upgrade some stuff on the farm here you know we've been wanting to upgrade the sprayer since essentially the beginning of the series so uh, I think doing some contract work is going to be where we go here for future episodes on this series uh, just to give us a little bit of uh, extra capital to work with we are definitely hurting for money right now, and the interest rates are going to uh, start to hurt us quite a bit here. And so I think if we were to jump into some fertilizing, I would definitely put sprayer section control on this sprayer. Um, I like everything else about this sprayer. It's nice and wide. We're going to be able to cover the acres quickly, and uh, I'm really liking this tract setup. Uh, looking great. So I think that's in our future here uh let me know what you think in the comments below uh if there's another sprayer i should check out before we commit to this one like i said this is still just a demo unit so we've got the opportunity to make a switch here before we commit to anything uh, but i'm really liking this setup i'm driving with my uh flashers on here in the field which is uh kind of silly so we got those turned back off and so hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed this. It's been a little bit uh, different episode uh, than normal. Uh, trying out some new mods here. And I'm definitely loving this uh, new sprayer setup from Perma's Modding with the trailer to mix our chemical up with water. So we're going to continue to play around with that a little bit and hopefully provide some uh, good feedback to Perma's on uh, ways that we could continue to improve... Uh, um, the thinking behind that mod. If you've enjoyed today's episode, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe for daily realistic farm sim content. That's all for today. Ketterk out. 
get out of the trees, man. I'm not even hitting that tree. Why are we stuck on it? 